Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin. Um, a long time no see. <laughs> it's been a minute. I was in the process of moving. If you guys didn't know, now you know. I did film a like final video in my apartment and I don't think I'm gonna post it just because I don't like the way it turned out. It was just an empties video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know and I'll post it, but like, I didn't love it. I'm not wearing makeup in it. <laughs> I just kinda look like a hot mess, but. Um, I kind of look right now because my hair is never cooperating even when I take the time to actually do it. Um, my background is not done. I know it's not the cutest right now, but not done there. You can see the floor behind me. There's so much stuff down there. And yes, I'm wearing a Christmas sweater because work. <laughs> but um, I have a haul for you guys today, long story short, and I'm kind of excited about it. I've got some stuff from Morphe. I've got some Bath and Body Works, some Marshall, some Rue. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. The first thing I have is from Bath and Body Works. I did also get some um, hand sanitizers, but I'm dumb and already took them to work, so I'm not going to show you guys those. I got A Thousand Wishes, Cucumber Melon, um, Vanilla Bean Noel, and one other one. Oh, I got um, Dylan one. He got like a, a man scent one. I don't know what it's called. The one that are like four men, which whatever. If you want to use any of them, use whatever you want. But I got my first Bath and Body Works candle. For a long time, I thought Bath and Body Works was not cruelty free, but now they are. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm slightly confused. Let me know down below what you guys think. But I got a candle. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball Candle, and the lid is super cute. It's like reflective and there's my phone but it's, it's got a little ornaments on it oh it smells so good it smells like coconut which oh, coconut is my favorite scent and I love the color blue so I thought this was cute and it does work for like Christmas but it could also work like after Christmas because it's not like super wintry I guess I should say after winter I don't know if you guys don't celebrate Christmas I'm sorry but I do so that's just kind of how I time things I guess I don't know okay next let's jump into what I got from Rue 21. I didn't get a lot. I just got some makeup remover wipes. I've never tried these, so I don't know how good they are, but they were having a sale, so like I couldn't use this. And I also need make, also, I always <laughs> need makeup remover wipes. I got these ones. These are just facial wipes. Fragrance free. Fragrance free. It's Forever Young by Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre, I don't know. These are $2.99. And then I got this golden one. These are coconut and shea butter facial wipes. There's 25 in each of them. This one says soothes and hydrates. Um, they were $2.99 each, but there was a sale. I thought it was buy one, get one, because it said like the whole store was, but they were not. They were 50 cents off, so I got them both for $2.50 each. So that's everything I got from Rue. That wasn't a very big haul, but. And then I got a few things from Marshall. Looks like a few things that I don't even remember. What did I have in here? Oh, I got one thing from Walmart too. Let's do that first. I got this. This is a CoverGirl mascara. I literally picked it up just because it was on clearance. Like, I don't have a CoverGirl mascara, I don't think. Not one that I like anyway. I don't know. But I saw this one and I was like, I really want to try more CoverGirl. It's on clearance. It's only $3.50, so why not? They had another one that was a different, um, it was in like an all blue tube. I was gonna get that one, but it was like black brown only, so I was like, eh, no. This one's in blackest black. It is the Peacock Flare. This is what the wand looks like. I normally don't love plasticky ones, but this does look like the shape I like, so we're gonna give it a go. Now, from the actual stuff from Marshalls, I got some tweezers. <laughs> Fun, exciting. These are from Jeff and Esk. These were six bucks for three pairs. I didn't think that was too bad, so there's that. Then I got a new foundation. This is by Becca. I've never tried a Becca foundation. I don't really have a lot of Becca products, just some eyesh, nope, some highlighters. I think that's all. I think that's all I've tried from Becca. So I'm excited about this. This is the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the shade Fair. This was the lightest shade they had, and this was $7.99, which I think is amazing because Becca is not a cheap brand. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's very um, luxurious looking. It's really pretty. I hope it fits me shade wise. So shake well before use. Let me do that. We're not going to use, <laughs> do you hear my bells jingling? Cute. Okay. So it's like a, a twist cap, I think. Yeah. So it twists like that. I don't 
now where the little nozzle is. Is this the one that you gotta like, is that what it is? Oh yeah, it's a dropper, that's what it is, okay. So let me just kinda like drop a little out on my hand, or a lot, cause that was a lot. Looks like that. It's not running very much, which is good. Ooh, it's a little yellowy. Smells like Play-Doh. Don't know if I love that. Oh yeah, there's some definite luminosity to that. Okay, foundation is hard to judge just based on what it did on your hand, but I am excited to play with that. Let's take these rubber bands off of my arm. Okay, next, and the last thing I got from Marshalls <coughs> is this. This is the Too Faced Triple Scoop High Reflective Highlighter Palette. I wanted this when it came out really bad and I never wound up pre or purchasing it for whatever reason. It was $16.99. I just got way too close to the camera. But it looks like this. It's super cute. It's got little ice cream cones all over it. It says Too Faced. Pops open like this. And then you've got the mirror with a little ice cream cone. And then you've got three shades. A white, a pink, and a brown. It's supposed to be like Neapolitan. They feel nice. They're not like super creamy, but they're not not creamy. Ooh, I like that white one. The gold one is gonna be too dark for me, <clears throat> but I could probably make the pink one work and I can definitely make that white one work. So I will for sure be trying that out. Did I tell you the price of this? I don't remember. It was $16.99. I don't know if I told you that already, I'm sorry. Oh wait, now for Morphe, I got quite a bit of stuff. I'm actually a little perturbed with Morphe right now because I did order something else and it didn't come. And I got, I ordered it on the 5th and on the 8th, they sent me an email saying, oh, we refunded your money for this product. And I immediately like responded with like, why? <laughs> and I've emailed them three times since and they have not responded to my emails. I got an email today from them saying, we've received your email and we'll get back to you within 48 hours. So I'm really annoyed with them right now, but you know, I'm so excited about these products. So I got this guy right here. This is the Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration, the five piece mini lip collection. Um, this is the iconic holds. The product that I ordered that didn't come is the nude one of these. So I'm a little annoyed, but you know, we'll get over it. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch all of these, but I'll swatch one of them just because I am gonna do like a full video on the Jeffree Star stuff. So here's this. Let's do, let's do a gloss and a liquid lip, actually. I'll swatch one of each for you guys. A little sneak peek, because I'm gonna be doing this video sometime this week. These are freezing. I literally just got home from, um, for lunch. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Oh, okay. So these are actually his liquid lips. I did not realize that. I thought they were just collaborations with Morphe. Yeah, you get um, Unicorn Blood and Red Rum in here. That's exciting. And then you get three lip glosses that I'm assuming are the Morphe side. Okay, so this is Unicorn Blood. That's exciting because I do know that I like ooh, the Jeffree Star formula. Yep, this is Unicorn Blood. And I'm not going to swatch the other ones because I will save that for the video where I actually talk about these products. Then the lip glosses, you get Berry Blast, Iconic, and Living For It. I'm going to swatch Iconic. I really, really like the packaging on this. I think it's super cute. So I'm assuming these are Morphe glosses and then those are Jeffree's liquid lips. I've never tried a Morphe gloss. My hair is doing something weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's sticky. It's just clear though, so I like that. Okay. I'm excited to play with these more. Next thing I got is this guy, which is the reason I placed this order. This is the new Manny MUA and Morphe collaboration. Again, I'm not gonna swatch everything, but I'll swatch one for you guys, just because I really like to save my first impressions for the video, but maybe I won't swatch one of these. I don't know, we'll swatch one. So taking it out, it's got the like marble packaging, which is exciting. So cold. There's a nice mirror in there, and then you do get a little plasticky guy, and then here are the shades. So we'll swatch one. Um, let's do Fire Witch. Ooh, 
Those are nice. I do know what Morphe shadows feel like. I really, really do like Morphe shadows. There's a fire witch there. That's fun. Okay. So this palette is super like safe, I guess is the word. Like it's not going to be something that you get super crazy, amazing looks with, but for people who like neutral eyeshadow palettes, this is great. I think it's going to be great anyway, based on the looks of it. It's great. But someone like me, I usually do a lot of like bright, colorful looks. I say as I'm wearing like a really boring look that I did in five minutes this morning, but this is work makeup, not fun makeup. And I don't really have a lot of like basic palettes. So this is actually something that I was excited about. Okay, go back in there. Okay, I will finish putting that away after I'm done. Um, speaking of not boring, I got this guy too. This is the Morphe James Charles The Mini Palette. I've never tried the big one, but I really wanted to try it and I was like, you know, it's the same thing. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I am never going to use the whole thing. So I just got the mini guy, which I'm still excited about. Let's see how many this is. Very many, <laughs> very, very many. Okay, here is the palette, the shades in the palette. I don't know what I'm trying to say. These look like fun. All Morphe smells like, like Play-Doh, I think, when you first take it out. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this hot pink shade which I don't remember. The names are on this little plastic thing. I don't know, on the big palette, are they on the actual palette? I don't know, this one's called Skip. Okay, again, I'm gonna do a video on this, so I'm not gonna swatch everything, but we'll swatch one. Oh my goodness. And oof, this one will stain your eyes, definitely, because it is bright colors, but I'm excited to play with this. This one is definitely more adventurous and is definitely gonna be Fun to play with but there is that guy what else do we have in here i've got moving the camera no we're good okay this guy this is the morphe x jeffree star set and refresh mist in the starberry scent i've never tried the morphe spray but i'm excited about the strawberry one okay oh that's very strawberry let me just Okay, yeah. Oh, I can taste it. <laughs> Weird. That is very, very strawberry. I don't know um, if this is good or not. I've never tried the original, but I'm very excited to play with this one. I'm gonna sneeze now from the strawberry. <laughs> okay. And the last guy in here, oh, you can see my mess back there. The last guy I got is the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. Bet you guys didn't see that coming. Um, if you guys have seen any of my videos, then you know like my favorite thing is YouTuber makeup collabs. I just think they're so fun and I love to review them. So we're going to review the whole thing except for the other lip set that I didn't get, which I'm so upset about. I will definitely reorder that as soon as I can. But for now, we've got to this guy. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. That green color, I'm like living for right now. I also really like this gold and this silver, but let's swatch the green. It's called Nate. Stay. Ooh, very pigmented. Matches my sweater. Sweater, my sweater. Okay. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. This is like a good in-between from the Morphe uh, James palette and the Manny palette because it's like, you got your neutrals like in this area up here and then over here, but you've also got like your fun shades down here. So this would be a good, like, if you're somebody who wants to play with color, but you're also into like the neutral stuff, this would be a good in-between. Is that everything? I think that's everything I have. Okay, this is probably the quickest haul I've ever done. I'm still very upset about the lip products. I'm not gonna get over it anytime soon, I don't think, but as soon as they become back available, I will order them so you guys can see them too. Hopefully it happens. No, it's not going to. I was going to say hopefully it happens before I do the review on this collection, but it's probably not going to. So sorry about that, but I will continue to try to reach out to Morphe and figure out what happened because the lips are now out of stock, which I don't understand how I would have paid for them. And then they went out of stock three days later and then I didn't get them. So... Yeah, 
Anyway, <laughs> we'll end on a happy note here. That is everything I have for you guys. Let me know down below if you guys are excited to see reviews of any of this stuff and what you guys think about this products, if you've tried them already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I just said that. Bye, guys.